Here we have another problem showing you different strategies, ways in which you can do things, changing the order of the reagents that you're using. This synthesis starts from benzene, and again, we're changing the order. The first reaction here that we're doing, notice, is uh, that's an acyl chloride, tri aluminum trichloride, so that is a friedel craft acylation. So I'm going to draw the product of that um, so simply, we are installing that group. So in, let's just do that. Two more carbon. All right, so that is after, say, reaction one, the Friedelkraft acylation. Second step here, what you have is a, the Clemenson reduction. The Clemenson reduction is to use, uh, is used to reduce that and what we the carbonyl and what you get after that is this so three carbon atoms so you have uh, removed the carbonyl group we use this strategy for us uh first uh friedel craft here friedel craft acylation plus lemonson Reduction, we do that instead of the Friedel-Kraft isolation when we want to prevent carbon cation rearrangement. So the strategy here is um, isolation and then the reduction, which is what we show here. So the third step is fuming sulfuric acid. This is a um, installing a sulfonic acid. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to say steps two and three. Uh, to save space, and I'm going to add the sulfonic acid. Now, remember that now the alkyl group is orthopyra directing, but since the sulfonic group is quite large, we're going to install the major product is in pair, which is what I'm drawing, so not next to that. Notice that if we change it, the order here, let's say that we change this too, and we do first the sulfonation and then the reduction. This is going to change the outcome because this group is deactivating a meta directing. Oh, but we do that in the other sequences. So, okay. Um, insulation, Friedel Craft, uh, reduction, Clemenson, and sulfonation. So, steps one, two, and three. Step four here is a bromination. And here you have two substituents, uh, the automatic ring. The, um, the propyl group is an alkyl group, is activating ortho pair directing. And this is, say, activating, and this is deactivating. So um, the propyl group is going to determine the regio selectivity of the substitution. And pair position is occupied, so it's going to be ortho to the propyl group. So the bromination is going to happen at ortho to the propyl group, SO3, This will be after the um, step four. Step four. The last step is a desulfonation. Here, typically, we use diluted sulfuric acid and heat, and what we're doing is removing that. So what I'm going to do for to save a space, I'm going to say that step four in five, and I'm going to remove the sulfonic acid. So in four, you have installed the bromine. In the step five, you remove the sulfonic acid. Okay, now let's go to the side and see what happens when we change the order of the reagent. First step here is the same real craft um, isolation. But here it is now doing a bromination. So in that substrate, that's a product of a step one. So the acylation product is this, step one. And in a step two, we're going to be doing a bromination. This group is deactivating and meta directing. So after steps one and two, you're going to have the following. 
So you're going to have this isolation and then meta to that, you're going to install the browning again because the ASL group is deactivating. So meta directing. So steps one and two give you that product. And what's on the step three? The step three is the Clemson reduction of that carbonyl. You can do the reduction in this condition, or you can also use hydrazine in basic condition. What is this used for? To remove the carbonyl. So the final product after step three is we don't have a carbonyl anymore. So we have a propyl group here. And so propyl. And you will have a bromine here. Um, notice the location. Here you have this two substituents, meta. So one, three, and here they are one, two, so ortho to each other. So it changes. The order changes uh, how the substitution went. Um, the last sequence is the one that I have here below. And let's analyze how that goes. If the first step is again the Friedel-Craft acylation, so you're starting here. After the reaction number one, you have this. Second step, what it is? It is the reduction, so the Clemson reduction. So I'm going to write steps one and two, you form that, and then you reduce. So after steps one and two, I am going to have propyl benzene. And the next step, step three, is the bromination. So what is that bromination doing? Um, this is activating ortho para directing. So you're going to have ortho, those two, and para. So the last sequence is going to, you're going to have, um, this is the ortho product, bromination here. And you're going to have also the para product, so bromine here. So again, this was an example to show you how you get different products by using changing the order in which you do the, re, um, the reaction. Here you simply swap this two. Uh, here you got the meta because if you do the bromination directly, the this group is deactivating, so it's going to go the bromination meta. Whereas if you do the reduction first, this group is activating, so you have the ortho and the para products. But if you choose to do the, here is acylation, frail craft reduction. If you protect the position in para doing a sulfonation, then you get a much cleaner reaction and you have only the ortho substituted. The sequence involved then acylation, Clemson reduction, sulfonation, uh, the bromination step in the sulfonation. In the last step, I didn't draw it. Uh, I remove it, the sulfonic acid group.